Welcome to part number 18 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to check out the used car dealership and see what's in stock at the moment. Um, let's see here. A lot of new cars in stock right now. Ooh, I see something. Pocho 106 Rally. Can you show your cars? Uh, yeah, I'll show them. I'll show them right now in a, in a bit. I bring a new spicy Mexican flavor in here. Hondo Taco Meat Beat. <laughs> well, this Pocho 106 could be used for the French Championship. So that's good. Let's go ahead and use this thing for the French Championship. Cute car. Yep. This thing's awesome. The 106 S16. So I'm going to quickly show you the cars. I won't really go through them all one by one. So here are the cars that I have. All the DLC cars. And then... These are the standard cars that I have at the moment. I'd like to buy a 106 SRL... Or S16 IRL is a daily. It's like 1k. That's the rally. Oh, really? 1k is not that bad. So let's go quickly check. Two rounds. Circuit de la Sarth and... Wow, 454. Okay. Circuit de la Sarth and Madrid. So we should have enough money to at least tune those cars... Or this car up for this competition. So turbo kit, that's like a safe go-to modification. Insert 999PP Blue Cow X2011 prototype. <laughs> oh damn. Okay, we're gonna have to do some cheap upgrades here. So engine. And if we need any more upgrades, then obviously we can just get some money from losing and then buy the parts here. Although the second best car had 423 performance points. Did you see the GT5 speed glitch? I've seen it before back in the day on YouTube. Dude, those things are pretty funny. We don't have enough for weight reduction. Okay, that should be more than enough to win the championship. You can get an Alpine for this series? Ah, oh, Barney, please don't spoil... No spoilers, please. Ah, oh, guys, please no spoilers. Well, I guess now that I know that, we can do the European Classic Car Series, but guys, please don't spoil any of the, of the prize cars. But thanks, yeah, it's alright, man. But hey, at least I know, at least I know we won't get a crappy price car. I mean, sure, but at the same time, I kind of like, ex you know, figuring these things out on my own. I'm playing on messing around with GT5 Garage Editor. I actually have one. But, um, yeah, I I'm not going to use it for this Let's Play, obviously. <laughs> I'll try it. And fly like Lion with Rocket in his ass. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Well, okay. At least, Barney, you didn't say which Alpine we're going to get. It could be the A110 or the A310. So, don't say it, but at least it's not a complete uh, spoiler. Alright, we need Vargas to pick up the pace right away. There's a Cleo behind us. Who's going to be really tough to fight. Oh, it's a regular Cleo. I thought it was a Cleo Sport.
damn it, A310 is just stuck behind the C3. Apparently the post the posters incident or the posters indicates 24 hour race with the least chaff cars. Huh. It'd be like the 24 hours of lemons. Which is an American series, which is a lot of fun to watch. I think they actually have uh, 24 hours of lemons around the world now. But we need 24 hours of lemons to race around the mall. Like, that would be the ultimate jewel. <laughs> the ultimate crown. 24 hours of squeezing lemons. Sorry, but this car screams like my sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's not too, like, weird of a comment. I mean, me and my brother used to say that, like, the, the M4 in, like, this game called Soldier Front back in the day sounded like a screaming girl. So, I like the sound of this car, though. It's 106. It's sexy. 24 hours of nothing. Well, we're off to third. Magan and the sister 106 are just really roughing each other up. One oh six Y. Oh one oh sixty. Car make room. Up to the lead. There we go. And Lion say help. Damn, that's a nice shot of the 106 leading the entire field out of the second chicane. So we have a Pojo 1-2 right now. The 1-2-3 actually, Citroen in fourth. The A310 running in fifth, about to hit the rev limiter. Vargas doesn't realize he can break much later with how light the 106 is. Yeah, he's used to racing uh, stock cars. <laughs> Not really used to racing lightweight cars. I mean, all those races in the pickup truck challenge really mess with his skill. They have better cars than you win. Yeah, because I severely tuned this thing up a lot. Like, I pumped $50,000 worth of tuning parts into this thing. Who's in last? 206RC? Hey, <laughs> Magic. Lutetia? Oh, that must be like... The Japanese version or something, if I remember correctly. Vargas is used to driving Bugatti and like weight vehicles, which the same could be used for this event. Yeah, true. Why would we use a Bugatti though for this thing? <laughs> that would just be overkill. Magic of 106. Yeah, I can imagine that there's a lot you can do to this car in real life, tuning wise. I like how this ugly Citroen C3 is like holding on to third. Overcoat will be using 908. So, I should mention one thing too that. Since this is GT5 and I've, I play this in high school, I still remember some of the price cars, but still no spoilers. I do remember you can get a Toyota 7 here, but in, in B spec. That's the only reason why I did B spec back in the day. I did use the Red Bull, but yeah, um, some of the price cars I do know. Most of them, like about 90%, I do not know. So just want to keep that in mind, guys. I hate the C3. Yeah, the C3 is ugly, dude. I remember the C3 test with. Um, the Nissan Skyline pace car at Laguna Seca in GT4. And it's just like, dude, this is like an ugly van, but it's like a compact car at the same time. 
They drive like it's 100% sale at a shop. <laughs> Everyone's trying to get to the store quickly. Jesus. Duha mail in the freaking A310 just kicking up a huge drift. Yeah, you get the Toyota 7 from one of the... I, I'm not going to say which championship because I know some people like Marvin who haven't played this game yet, they would want to see that, but... Yeah. That's like the only car I know. So I guess it's 90%? I don't know. 90% <laughs> of them I don't know. But yeah. My auntie actually has one? What, a C3? Whoa! What happened to this dude? Yeah, you do. I, I That's like the only one I remember, but like I said, since Marvin hasn't played this game yet, and I can imagine that he only wants to watch, he only wants to see the prize cars if anyone else is playing it, I'm not going to straight out say which one it is yet. Like, he'll see when the time comes. Right, I know. They want to be shot first, yep. Technically, this is a public road, a C3, yep. <laughs> Your aunt owns one? Like, that's cool, dude, but, like, is it any comfortable, or, like, is it reliable? Like, can, can you fill us in on that? Just because I don't really know. Since, obviously, I'm, I'm from the States, so we don't have Citroen, sadly. How do you get the Toyota 7 by winning? No, you get it by losing, actually. It's like a, it's like a, um, whatchamacallit, um, like a participation, like a participation trophy. A catch twenty two. <laughs> Damn, this C four just like look at the bumper. It just slammed right in. It's Ferrari, Lamborghini, um, Lamborghini. The best car is Nissan GTR. Yep, that's that's a really good car. Porsche. Too bad we didn't have Porsche in this game. Not until Sport. Cause damn EA. All right, Vargas, just maintain this gap, maintain this pace. See the ugly C3 try to get around the sexy 106. Oh, your dad owns a Porsche? Nice! What kind? Longo with the late pass on the A310. Objectively, the best car of all is the Red Bull X 2011. I mean, true. I mean, it's kind of like a no-brainer. Oh, a Boxster? Nice! I had a friend who used to own a Porsche Boxster. But it was giving him too many problems, so he had to sell it, and I th think he got a BMW Z4 instead. Oh! Hess trying to make the outside grass pass, but that didn't work. Not really a pa not really a place you can pass, buddy. Porsche boxer shorts. <laughs> That's what the S stands for. Wow, look at this little fight here. Damn, the 206 just came all the way from the back into the middle. Deja vu. The French version of deja vu. Dude. Couturier just gave no fucks, put Longo in the wall. Oh, deja vu. <laughs> the 106s are just dominating. My friend says his BMW Z4 is faster than my dad's Porsche. A Porsche? Really? Is it stock? Or he probably modified it. I don't know, aren't they on par? 
I mean, I'm just going by PGR2 because they were in the same class in that game. Like the sport convertible class or whatever. Oh, the new Z4. Okay. In that case, yeah, I expect it to be faster than a than a boxer. But they're still making Porsche boxers, aren't they? Or what year is your dad's, first of all? Your sister... No, she doesn't. Does she? Does your sister really have an LFA? Don't play with my emotions. <laughs> well, Vargas wins at Circa de la Sarth. Oh, is she? Damn, okay. Well, in that case, I mean, that is pretty believable then if she is rich. All right, replay has been saved and moving on to the second round. You need to get proper English though. Uh, I'm an American and we speak English around here. Everyone's feeling moody right now. Jesus Christ. Vargas is the only one that's like, okay. All right, well, let's enter this race. Oh, there's an S16 in the back. Well, Vargas was lacking some power, so we're trying this again. I went and bought him a racing exhaust. So hopefully he has a little bit more power to catch the A310 that you see in third place. So Francisco GNM says, I think James Hetfield did Merciful Fate Medallies way better than Merciful Fate actually played. I disagree with that, bro. I think King Diamond is the absolute shit, man. Like, n no one can... In, in terms of his songs, like... No one can capture that essence that King Diamond has in his own music, in my opinion. Mm -mm. I don't think James did a better job. But everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and damn, three wide into one. I think the extra power is helping out Vargas big time here. That 307 was holding us up last time. Vargas needs some power, so you bought Viagra's fuel for him. <laughs> and the A310 is back in first. No surprise. First place gone with A310. Eh, I wouldn't say that. It's not over yet. I mean, it's only in the first lap, and on top of that, that A310 makes a lot of mistakes. Which hopefully this time Vargas can cap uh, capitalize on. It's a meme about Tuesday gone with the wind. Oh, hey, Vargas scared me big time coming out of the chicane. I thought he was going to hit the wall. Gotta go. All right, GT fan. Thanks for stopping by, dude, and thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it, man. Up to fourth. I go play GT5. Nice. <laughs> Have fun with that, man. Now the 106 sounds like trash. Yeah, but unfortunately we had to get the 106 some more power. Now he's up to third. El Ma in the Citroen Serra was really holding us up last time. Pretty much compromised us a chance at the A310. So hopefully Vargas can get around him ASAP. Bye, good luck, bro. Thanks, dude. 
Have a good one. Sounds like a freaking Toyota. Of course, we have to rice this thing out, dude. The Celica rally car. Oh, yeah. The same vacuum cleaner sound. Oh, he's in the spin. Oh, he hit the wall. At least Vargas got around him. Ma's holding us up again. Okay, that's going to be the thumbnail. Just because the Alpine's in the wall. Imagine this was the finish, like a drag race to the line. Yeah, we would barely edge out the Citroen. A310's gone with the wind, rest in peace. By the way, I, I know that's a Leonard Skinner song. Where the hell is... Oh, he's in fourth. The other 106 has got him. Damn, are we going to have a 106, 1, 2, 3? Never mind. Ma put him in the wall. So we just want him to maintain this steady pace. No need to overdo it. Well, it's a 106-134. Hopefully the other two can get up to the podium. My ma put him to the wall. <laughs> Jailed bird. I wonder if Ma will crash. Well, like the real life Ma King Hua, I, I can only imagine that he will eventually. Ooh, come on, where? Get him. Over and under? Nope. Couldn't get the job done. You think Lucas is driving an S16? Yeah, he is. And it's where that's driving the. Rally. Colette is nowhere to be found. After losing the lead, pretty much just can't get his head back in the game. Vargas, on the other hand, is just commanding the field right now. But you know what? While Vargas is leading, I'm going to fix my list right now. So you'll hear some typing in the background. I know my damn rear stickers, LOL. The 205 is by far my favorite Pojo. Second is the old 307. What does the old 307 look like? Like what year? What year should I look up? on Google because I want to look it up real quick since Vargas has a pretty sizable gap. Two thousand four XSI? Alright. Real oh that one? Really? Let's check it out. Huh. Okay, it's not that bad. I'm personally not a fan of it. I like the 206 RC the most. Yeah, that thing is really nice. But my favorite one as well is the 205. Which I think back in like the 70s or 80s, we used to have Pojos here in the United States. But sadly, we no longer do.
205 looks so good. The 80s, I think. Yeah, somewhere around there. And they sound amazing in GT4. They really do. So we got two laps to go. Moss still holding on to second. Ooh, Ware just lost out on fourth. Colette is making a comeback. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Vargas pretty much has this locked down. He just needs to nurse it around for one and a half more laps and he'll be good. GT4 was the last non-vacuum cleaner sound in using game. Yeah, some of the engines in GT4 sounded pretty good. Although it's not super realistic, I love the sound of the Honda S2000 LM race car in GT4. It sounds so, like, aggressive. I love the sound of that car. So we have a little three-car pack here heading into the park area, because I remember Abstract Sky told me that's a park. Like, on the really early days of my Discord, he actually set up, like, yeah, it was like an angry bee. <laughs> yeah, exactly! I never thought about that analogy, but, hey, that works. But yeah, the very early days of my Discord, like, when I first started my channel, Abstract Sky was like, one of my first subscribers. Saint Angry is the most memed album. Oh, really? Personally, Saint Anger, I mean, honestly, I think Saint Anger is a piece of crap album. Like, I think it's horrible. But that's just my opinion. I don't know if you like it. But anyways, yeah, in my early days of my Discord, when After Sky was like one of my only subscribers, he made a map of Madrid and like all the iconic areas. That Dio Pepe place, I think that's like a beer brewery that used to be around around the time of this game. Saint Angry Feminist or Saint Angry Dump. Oh wow, Lucas is up to second. Ma fell on the fourth. Okay. Well, sadly, we're not going to get the 106 sweep, but it doesn't matter. All I care about is the race win. I traced some GT4 tracks in real life. Oh, really? Nice. But what I mean is, like, he made a map out of the Madrid course, and he literally, like, put all the landmarks around, so that way we can reference the corners by their landmark things. Like, that's a city hall or something. What Ma just passed by. Frantic diarrhea. Please tell me. Intern. Wait, what? Okay, so right now I'm supposed to be streaming and OBS disconnected the stream for whatever reason. So. Yeah, I have to guess. I guess I have to just continue on like this. But yeah, um, OBS, what the heck? <laughs> Regardless, we win, and we're back online. Really, OBS, what the heck? <laughs> Why? Why do you have to do this to us? Oh, we got a 106 one two, I guess. Okay, that's cool. 15,000 credits in total. Vargas is still level 11, we're still level 18. So, now the question is, what Alpine card do we win? Because unfortunately it was spoiled for us, but we'll figure that out right now. And the answer to that question is, yes, the A110. Nice. That's exactly the one I wanted. I like the A310 as well, but the A110 is superior. All right. So let's go claim that prize. And here it is. Oh, perfect timing. 
A110 1600S in all of its beauty. So let's go take a look at our car. How many performance points does this thing have? 415, wow. So is there a chance that we don't have to tune this thing up for the European Classic Car Championship? Let's find out real quick before we end the segment. Okay, we might need to tune this thing up a little bit to keep up with the Janetta, but Next time on Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec, we are going to be doing the European Classic Car Series, so stay tuned for that.